In this video, I'd like to talk about finding angles in isosceles triangles. So let's start with the definition of an isosceles triangle. So these are triangles that have two equal sides and two equal angles. So let me write that down. So these are triangles that have two equal sides and two equal angles. So let's draw a quick sketch of this. So if we have some random isosceles triangle, and it's not drawn perfectly to scale, but the main idea is that this triangle will have two of its sides that are equal, and the angles that are opposite these sides, so this angle and this angle, these are going to be equal as well. So another way to think about it is that the two angles that are equal open up to the sides that are equal. So the angle that isn't necessarily equal to these is the one between the two equal sides. So this one is usually something different, but if it is the same as these, then actually that would be an equilateral triangle. So we want to use this definition to help us answer problems so that we can essentially find a missing angle. So with this example, we are trying to find this missing angle X and notice that this triangle has two equal sides. So that tells us this is an isosceles triangle. And we know with an isosceles triangle that the angles opposite the equal sides or the angles that open up to the equal sides, these are equal to each other. So this angle and this angle, these are both equal to x, whatever that angle measure is. So we can call this x degrees as well. And to find what x is equal to, we just need to remember that the angles in a triangle, when we're talking about flat space or some type of flat plane, that the sum of these angles adds up to 180 degrees. So let's write that down, that this angle plus this angle plus this 80 degree angle, these add up to 180. So we have x degrees plus x degrees plus 80 degrees. This is equal to 180. And we can combine like terms. Let's put the two x's together. So we have twice this angle measure of x plus 80 degrees is equal to 180. And let me just make some room so we can finish this. And from here, we just need to solve for x. So let's subtract 80 on each side. And doing that, we'll cancel out the 80s on the left-hand side so that we get twice that angle measure of x is equal to 100. And now we can just divide everything by two so that we get x by itself. Since 2 divided by 2, we know that's just 1, so x is 100 divided by 2, or in other words, x is 50 degrees. So if we plug this back into our equation, we found that these are 50 degree angles, and this matches up with our definition of an isosceles triangle. These are two equal angles, and they are opposite the two equal side lengths. And it makes sense in terms of a general triangle because if we add these angles together, 50 plus 50 is 100 plus 80 is 180. They do add up to 180 degrees, which is what we'd expect. So we can feel confident that X is 50 degrees.